Hello viewers and my dear students. Welcome to session 5 on application of straight lines. We will continue with application problems even in this session. See here, there is one uh, problem here. These are all the problems what you are supposed to know after having completed this course. Uh, the applications of this will come at so many uh, places. Sir. Okay. Uh, particularly at the post engineering career, you may have to analyze such drawings, particularly mechanical, electrical, civil, and all that. Uh, it's a common thing. Okay, now you see here problem three a straight road going uphill from point A due east to another point B is four kilometer long and has a slope of 15 degrees. See here, this carefully will not do fast, we'll do it slowly. A straight road going uphill from point A due east to another point B is 4 km long and has a slope of 15 degrees. See here, first we will worry about only this. Straight road going uphill from point A due east. Okay, see here. Ah, this you understand. X y line you draw, VP HP you draw. In the top view, this is north you should know. This is east. When this is north, this is south. This is west. Okay. A straight road uh, starting from A. That is, the top view of the point is A, front view of the point is A dash. Okay. Now, the road going from A to B, okay, A to B is going in the direction of east. Had it been this way, the, 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 the line uh, that is, uh, road would have been going in the direction of west. Had this been this way, the line uh, would have been, uh, that is, road would have been going in the direction of north. If it is AB this way, the uh, road would have been going in the direction of south. But now he says clearly that uh, a road going, road, straight road going uphill, uphill, that means in a slope, from point A due east to another point B is over 4 kilometer and has a slope of 15 degrees, they say. And at the end, they are given. 1 kilometer is 20 mm. 1 kilometer is 20 mm means this is 4 kilometer. Okay, you can take it 8 mm, 80 mm. 1 kilometer is 20 mm. They are given a scale. Scale is actually, you know, drawing size by actual size. It is 2 centimeters. If, uh, you know, if you take it in centimeters, it is 2 centimeter divided by 1 kilometer. 1 kilometer is 1000 meters. 1000 divided 1000 into 100. 2 divided by 1000 into 100. That will be the scale given. Okay, but they are clearly given, take scale of 1 kilometer is equal to 20 mm. So that 4 kilometer you take it as 80 mm. Okay, see here, a straight road going uphill from A, A due, uh, from point A due east to another point B is 4 kilometer and has a slope of 15 degrees. See here, from A you take this. But when it is good, when it has a slope of 15 degrees, it is going in this way, no? It has a slope. That means any road going in the direction of east or west, any right, uh, any road going in the direction of east or west is parallel to VP. This basic concept you should know. Okay, any road going in the direction of east or west is parallel to VP and can be seen in its true length in the front view. That is why VP HP XY drawn drawn A dash B dash. And it is an uphill road. Okay. Okay. It is going in the direction of east. And it is an uphill road. It reaches point B. That means A dash B dash is 80 mm. 15 degrees. Okay. 80 mm means since the scale chosen is. Since the scale chosen is 1 kilometer is 20 mm. This is 4 kilometer. You can write it as 4 kilometer or 80 mm. This is. Once this is the four, four kilometer uh, or the eight, uh, that is four kilometer road, 80 mm, this, <coughs> this has a slope of 15 degrees. Corresponding top view is parallel to XY line. <coughs> Can you understand this? This is front view of the road. This is the top view of the road. And never forget, this is an uphill road. with It has a slope of 15 degrees. In that way, this slope can be seen in the front view. This is as good as telling line inclined at 15 degrees to HP and parallel to VP. Okay, that is why it comes under application. In application, 
that the, instead of telling line, I am telling it is a road. A road is A dash B dash in the front view, A B in the top view. That means writing A dash B dash and A B, you will know that the road is starting from A, which is maybe on the ground level. Okay, it is going uphill. Okay, and reaching point B dash. Okay, that is point B, and it has a slope of 15 degrees, and it is measuring 80 mm or 40, uh, 4 kilometers. Okay, and since it is going in the direction of east, you should never forget any road going in the direction of east or west will be seen in its true length in the front view with the angle you can write. That is what A dash B dash I have written 80 mm 15 degree. Then draw the corresponding top view. Okay, draw the corresponding top. Then you see here. Then if you see here from B, okay. A straight road going uphill from point A to east to another point B is 4 km and a slope of 15 degrees. This we have completed. Another straight road from B due 30 degree east of north to a sign point C is also 4 km long but is on a level ground. Another straight road from B due 30 degree east of north to a point C is also 4 km but is on a ground level. Okay. You see here. Now, see here, from another straight road from B, 30 degree east of north. This is north. This is east. 30 degree east of north means you should take 30 degree. But it is on the ground level. That is same straight road. Straight road, ground level means the top view of this road can be seen in its true length in the top view. Okay. That means this straight road no, from B, it is on the ground level. That means it is a horizontal road. From B, you can call it as a horizontal road and it is going in the direction of 30 degree east of north. From north as the reference, in the direction of the east, take 30 degree. This also measures 4 kilometers. Okay. This is the very important thing. BC you draw and immediately, since this is a horizontal road, it is a parallel to HP road. In that way, the corresponding front view, you draw parallel to x, y, b dash, c dash, parallel to x, y, line. This is true length in the top view, corresponding front view, parallel to x, y, line. Here, a, a, b is the road, parallel to v, p, corresponding top view is parallel to x, y, line. But here, this is a horizontal road. From b, the road becomes horizontal and it goes in the direction of 30 degree east of north. Okay. And it is a horizontal road and measures... 4 kilometers. 4 kilometers means since 1 kilometer is 20 mm, you take 80 mm again. Okay. Once you take this, this is the layout. One AB road I have written. A, A dash B dash in the front view, AB in the top view. Looking at this, you can say this is the road going in the direction of east and has a slope of 15 degrees and corresponding top view parallel to X line you draw. Then looking at this and this, you should say this BC, this road is horizontal. You should clearly say this is a horizontal road, horizontal road. From B, the road becomes horizontal. And how it goes is, and it goes in the direction of 30 degree east of north. That means from north as the base, 30 degree east, you take. This also measures 4 kilometers. That means you take 80 mm. Okay. That means once you draw this top view, corresponding front to you draw B dash, C dash. Okay. Now, once you do this, the question asked is, okay, question asked is, you see here, on the straight road from B, due 30 degree east of north to a point C is also 4 km, but is on a ground level. That is, it is a horizontal uh, road. They asked you, determine the length and slope of the straight road joining the points A and C. Determine the length means true length they have asked and slope of the straight road joining the points A and C. Okay, now you see here, I have drawn the uh, uh, top view. I have drawn the front view and they have asked the connecting the layer, that is the rope connecting A and C. What is the true length and corresponding slope with the ground they have asked. Okay. With the ground they have asked. That is why what I will do now. I will join A dash C dash. I will join A C. Okay. Since I want the slope with the ground, that means with HP. Okay. I will rotate in the top view. See here. I have rotated in the top view. AC, I have rotated parallel to XY line. Can you understand? 
AC is the line connecting the points A and C of the roads. Okay. This I'll make it parallel to X Y line. In this position, it is parallel to VP. The true length can be seen in the front view. See here, I've fixed the locus of A, moved the locus of C. Okay. Parallel to X1, a C1 position. And move the locus of C means you draw the locus here. Then dash against the locus. Then connect A dash, C1 dash. Okay. This will be the true length or true distance between the point A and C of the roads. This, uh, if you see here, if you see here, this is the, the true length of the straight road joining A and C is 138 mm you get. 138 mm, since it is 1 kilometer is 20 mm, you convert back, it is almost 147 meters, no, 138, that is why, it is 140 mm would have been 7 kilometers. Now it is 138 mm, little less than 7 kilometers, that is 6.9 kilometers. You convert back and put it in 6 point, put it as 6.9 kilometers and immediately measure the corresponding angle. The line connecting A and C has a slope of the 9 degrees. That means this A dash C1 dash is the true length between the points A and C. As you see here, A dash C dash is inclined to HP. AC is inclined to VP. It is neither uh, true length in the front view. A dash C dash is not seen in its true length in the front view or top view. Under such circumstances, I have told you in projection of lines, these lines have to be rotated. Front view or top view. Measure, that is, rotating front to your top view parallel to XY line and hitting against the locus, you get true length and true inclination. Now, since they have said, you have to not only find the true length between A and C, but also the slope with the ground or HP. I have rotated in the top view. Okay, A as center, A as the fixed point, C is the moving point. I have rotated AC1 parallel to XY line. Okay, I have rotated parallel to XY line and hit against the locus. And I have measured A dash, C1 dash. This is the true length of the straight road joining A and C. This measures 138 mm. And that is 6.9 kilometers. Measure this angle also. That is 9 degrees. That is true inclination with the ground of the joint line joining the points A and C is 9 degrees. True inclination is 9 degrees. Okay. Now, here, what you should know here is, I'll repeat this. Are, uh, this is just a repetition or uh, revision. See here, first you draw XY line, VP, HP. First, uh, a road starts from a point A, let us say. Okay. And it moves in the direction of east. Okay. It moves in the direction of east means this is, I have told you, this is north, this is east. Any road going in the direction of east or west, the true length can be seen in the front too. In that way, draw A dash, B dash at 15 degrees and 80 mm you cut. Corresponding top view is AB parallel to XY line. Then from B, the road becomes horizontal. Horizontal means it will be parallel to HP and it goes in the direction of 30 degrees east of north. 30 degrees from north, east as the base, from north as the base, in the direction of east, okay, 30 degrees you take. This also measures 80, uh, 4 kilometers or 80 mm. That is, you drop BC. Once it is parallel to HP, Corresponding front view is parallel to x y line. Okay, parallel to HP, the horizontal road, no? It is parallel to HP. P dash C dash is the it, uh, front view correspond. Then join A dash C dash, join AC. In that way, front view of the road and top view of the road connecting A and C, you know. Okay, front view of an imaginary road connecting A and C, front view of the top view, front view of an imaginary road connecting A and C also, you know. That is, top view AC, front view A dash C dash. Then you rotate AC parallel to XY line, hit against the locus and measure the true length of the straight road joining A and C. That will be 138 mm or 6.9 kilometers. Okay. And the angle, that is angle with the ground, slope angle with the ground will be 9 degrees. This is the, uh, this is also one of the very important problems what you are supposed to know in applications of straight lines. Okay. We will come to the end of session 5. Thank you very much for watching. We will continue in session 6. Thank you friends. Thank you.